Question 16. What are the benefits of optical fiber in FTTH? Answer. Benefits of optical fiber. Very long distances. Strong, flexible, and reliable. Allows small diameter and lightweight cables. Safe and secure. Immune to electromagnetic interference. EMI. Lower cost. Question 17. What are the passive modules slash components in PON technology? Answer. Various modules. Components in PON technology are WDM coupler, one times and splitter, optical fiber and cable connector, ODF slash cabinet slash sub rack. Question 18. What are the active modules slash components in PON technology? Answer. The active modules components in PON technology are in OLT, laser transmitter 1490 nm and laser receivers 1310 nm for CATV application, laser amplifier 1550 nm and EDFA for amplifying video signal in ONU, power slash battery for ONU, laser transmitter. Transmitter 1310 nm, laser receivers 1490 nm, receivers for CATV signal 1550 nm. Question 19. What is the full form of GPON? Answer. The full form of GPON is Gigabit Passive Optical Network. Question 20. What is GPON? Explain. Answer. GPON is an optical system for the access networks. Based on ITUT specifications G.984 series, it can provide a 20km reach with a 28dB optical budget by using Class P plus optics with 1 is 32 split ratio. 21. Explain the features of the GPON. Answer. The most commonly known features of GPON are as listed below. Downstream transmission. 2.4 Gbps. BW for 1O NT is sufficient to supply multiple HDTV signals. QoS allows for delay sensitive traffic voice. Upstream transmission. 1.24 Gbps. Minimum BW can be guaranteed. Unused time slots can be assigned to heavy users. QoS allows for delay sensitive traffic voice question 22 what are the standards that defines gpon technology answer gpon standards build on the previous ppon specifications these specifications are all listed below g.984.1 colon this document describes the gigabit capable passive optical network general characteristics g.984.2 colon this document describes the gigabit capable passive optical network physical media dependent layer specification G.984.3 colon this document describes the gigabit capable passive optical network transmission convergence layer specification. Question 23. Explain the GPON architecture. Answer. GPON systems have essentially the same physical components that are configured in the same way as in other PON networks. Of course, the products developed for GPON systems are specifically designed for GPON and are not interchangeable with the EPON or BPON gear. GPON systems also have many of the same basic capabilities as other PON systems have. The main difference is in the architecture are GPON and data throughput. The gigabit GPON encapsulation methods allow carrying a variety of services including ATM, TDM voice and Ethernet. Question 24. What is the optical power sensitivity for GPON? Answer. One of the basic requirements of an optical system is to provide components with sufficient capacity to extend the optical signal to the expected range. There are three categories or classes of components are based on power and sensitivity. The classes of components are Class A optics 5 to 20 dB, Class B optics 10 to 25 dB, Class C optics 15 to 30 dB. Question 25. What is the full form of EPON? Answer. The full form of EPON is Ethernet Passive Optical Network. Question 26. Explain the EPON technology. Answer. Ethernet Passive Optical Network. EPON is APON encapsulate data with Ethernet and can offer 1 Gbps to 10 Gbps capacity. EPON follows the original architecture of APON here. The DTE connected to the trunk of the tree and called as optical line terminal OLT. It is usually located at the service provider and the connected the DTE branches of the tree are called optical network 
unit ONU located in the premises of the subscriber. The signals from the OLT pass through a passive splitter to achieve the ONU and vice versa. Question 27. Explain the QoS in EPON. Answer. Many PON applications require high QoS, for example IPTV. EPON leaves QoS to higher layers minus VRON tags, P bits or diff serve DSCP. In addition, there is a crucial difference between LLID and port ID minus. There is always one liter length ID per ONU. There is one port ID per input port. There may be many per ONU. This makes port based QoS simple to implement a PON layer. Question 28. What do you understand by DBA? Answer. An algorithm implemented in the OLT using report and gate messages to build a transmission program and pass the ONUs is known as a dynamic bandwidth allocation DBA algorithm. Question 29. Explain the EPON frame format. Answer. EPON operation is based on the Ethernet MAC and EPON frames, based on GBE frames, but extensions are needed. Multipoint control protocol PDUs. This is the control protocol implementing the required logic. Point-to-point -point emulation. Reconciliation. This makes the EPON looks like a point-to-point -point link and EPON MACs have some special constraints. Instead of CSMA, CD, they transmit when granted. Time through max stack must be constant plus minus 16 bit durations. Accurate local time must be maintained. Question 30. Explain the EPON header. Answer. Standard Ethernet starts with an essentially content-free 8B preamble. 7B of alternating 1s and 0s. 1 crore 1 lakh 1010 1B of SFD 10101011. In order to hide the new PON header, EPON overwrites some of the preamble bytes. 